Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And as you can see here, guys, this is a smart TV that supports the Roku um, feature. And it's a Insignia um, brand, I think. And as you can see here, this is the branding of the TV set. So if you check out down here, it does say Insignia. If you can see it, it's got a bit faint. All right. And despite the brand of the TV, this could work for a Samsung TV, LG, doesn't matter. All you got to do is just go into settings. All right. So once you go into settings, next, you're going to search through the menu and you're going to look for an option that's called screen mirror. It might be under different options. Your menus might be a bit different. So as you can see here, there's a variety of functions in this TV. You just simply go down to system. And once you select system, as you see over here, we should find down there the screen mirror option. All right. So I'm just going to scroll down to the screen mirror. And of course, just go through your TV menus simply eat, either hit the menu button or simply search through the interface until you find the screen mirror option um, on some tvs it might be on on others it might be off so as once you select screen mirror mode um, next you're gonna either put it to one of the options here that says always allow or prompt for always allow it will automatically connect once it finds the device for prompt the device will need to um, actually get um, a permission before it's allowed all right and of course in some cases you might be required to put in a code um, in others it might not be that way for me the best secured option would be the prompt meaning you would have to enter a password or sorry not a password you'd have to allow the device once it detects that the device wants to connect and of course for ease of use you could always use the always allow option all right so it depends on you and what you want all right so once you do that the tv will be ready to accept a signal from a device as you can check out here we have the samsung galaxy s8 plus and of course if you need to check out my wallpapers i have a video on that so see on the back of the device it's actually a samsung galaxy s10 plus all right so in this device or you could also be using an android device simply swipe down from the top to access the quick toggle options and you're going to look for an option that's called smart view now on samsung devices smart view is the name given to screen mirror on other devices is like a regular android device to say screen mirror all right once you go into smart view on your samsung device as in the case of the galaxy s10 you should scan and you should see the tv by name and as you can see here you have seen my insignia roku tv all right and it says connecting let's give it a little time and as soon as it connects as you see here it's showing you that it's connecting and right away once it connects it will start um, sending over the feed from your smartphone do not worry why it's not showing full screen remember that your device has a kind of tall aspect ratio and as a result that's why um, you're seeing this cropped look with the black borders to the right and to the left but of course anything that's seen on your um smartphone will also show up on the tv set do not worry once you start to play videos and so on they'll go full screen and some um pictures and so on but most times it will be remain in this aspect ratio you can also zoom and it will use full screen so depending on what you're doing on screen they um either just a portion of the screen will be used or the entire screen but of course it's great for showing off your pics and so on to people you can still do stuff like web browsing or to show it somebody something like in a presentation or if you want to show family photos or so on i'll show you that later on you can actually do it based on this also remember that you need to be on the same wi-fi meaning the tv and the smartphone must be on the same wi-fi network for this to use uh, to work actually all right you can also tap that icon in the corner you can pause share at any time to stop the feed or of course you can mess with the screen's aspect ratio so for example if you want to see a bigger picture on screen you can actually fill out more of the screen by using the secondary option here that says full screen on connected device it still won't show um, full screen in every situation but it will in um, some apps so you may want to do that to actually try to force more um, full screen under certain conditions all right and as you can see here i'm connected all right so another thing you need to know about screen mirroring guys it's quite convenient it uses um, a cableless technology meaning you can basically just connect to your phone remotely you don't have to worry about specialized cables and so on and of course i can switch back to the default option for says full screen that's my option that i normally um, use for this um, screen mirroring option 
all right and again you can see the um, android menus right here we can run through we can look at um, all the on-screen options so anything you can do normally all right so let me show you some pics and of course here's a picture on my um, smartphone and this is of a recent um, review that we did a video on the channel and this is a security light and of course you can see if this is a case i was showing off some family photos you could basically if you're um, over the grandparents house or somewhere with a smart tv you can actually show off your pictures to everybody or um, videos as well it does work fine for videos as i'm about to show you so you can see here you can actually do videos again it depends on how you shoot the video here i was shooting in um more of a portrait than a landscape mode but as you can see the tv does um do that but i guarantee if it's a video you turn the phone to the side it will actually play full screen such as a movie or so on i'm just demonstrating that the connection is fluid and seamless and works quite um almost flawlessly all right as you can see from another video here again and of course this is without any form of cables or anything in the way and of course these videos were shot on the samsung galaxy um s10 um plus all right so basically that's it guys uh, the screen mirroring feature is a great feature you should definitely check out and play around with and this has been another tutorial from blog tech tips this is regarding saying bye until next time guys bye